Hello everybody. In this video session, I am going to discuss about 7 segment display interfacing. Most of us we are aware that 7 segment display is an you know a, a kind of output device which is used in displaying a numeric values and also some cases we use it to display the alpha numeric values okay now when i say seven segment display actually there are total uh, eight leds are there uh, just i want to sh show you the component this is how the seven segment display looks like in a uh, real time if you count from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 plus a decimal point okay there will be total uh, 8 leds are there as we have done in our previous uh, you know led interfacing session um, it's the same concept instead of having one led here we have a you know eight leds okay and also we have two types of seven segment display that means we have common anode and common cathode okay that means a group of leds eight leds all anodes are connected here whereas here all cathodes are connected okay so if you look at again a kind of symbol you can see here so this i can say now common cathode because you can see all leds cathode terminal is connected and is grounded and that means it's a common pin instead of ground I can say it's a common pin so when you provide here one the LED will be on okay so for common cathode okay the cathodes are grounded together okay and if you provide here one and making here as a permanent zero the particular LED will be on so if this is going to be segment A the segment A will be on for common anode you can see the anode pins are grouped together and the cathode is given to the control purpose that means again imagine this like A and is the last one G okay now when you provide your zero the segment is going to be on so what we have to do is we have to keep this concept in our mind it's not anymore like one LED there are eight LEDs and we have also learned that um, you know controlling one LED and the program and also the port data things like that same concept we have to use it over here now let us consider our microcontroller and also we have a seven segment display okay and as i mentioned earlier you can't connect seven segment display directly as it may damage the microcontroller so what we have to do is we have to use a uh, buffer okay so now so this you can say is my microcontroller in this case we have like 8051 and then from here we have to connect eight lines okay we may choose let us say like port 1 bit 0 to port 1 bit 7 okay so we may use all of them and it can be a kind of latch so you may have a look at this 74 HCT 573 is a kind of a latch okay so we are using a latch is a octal D latch okay now in a real time 7 segment display package there will be total 10 pins will be there the middle pin is going to be the common anode or common cathode now let us see here we are I'm going to use a you know common anode so I have to connect the middle pin to VCC and remaining pins will be like segment 
A, B, C, D, E, F like this that you have to identify and that has to be connected through a current limiting resistor. Okay. So again, you are going to have here current limiting resistor and the D latch has to be provided with the power VCC and ground. You may check the appropriate pins from the data sheet and there will be two control signals. One is called as output enable, output enable and address latch enable or latch enable okay um, latch enable is the right word i believe so that you have to use it with the proper control signal okay so one of them will be high and another one will be low uh, this you need to refer to the data sheet okay so the concept is here is uh, like you have to have a hardware interface which will have a latch and a seven segment display so this is our seven segment display okay now this is our hardware connection as simple as if you want to connect only one digit maybe in our next video i'll discuss like how to have a multiple digits also now once you have a seven segment display you need to have an option whether you want to display either uh, you know alphabets which is from a to z and also the numerals from zero to one sorry zero to nine so it's primarily meant for you know displaying the um, uh, you know numerals whereas some alphabets also supported by the seven segment display okay just let me show here this is a seven segment display you know uh, software assume that we are going to choose a common anode as i, uh, as I mentioned earlier port 0 you know port 1 bit 0 to bit 7 okay the, the seventh bit i not considered here as a decimal point now if you want to turn on the leds i already mentioned you have to provide zero that means in this place you have to provide a zero it will turn on led okay so like if you want to display alphabet a okay you can see these all the leds segment a must be on b c these all the values must be on so what will be the value 0x 08 this value you have to send to the port 1 okay and if you do that and if you do this proper hardware interfacing the seven segment display will show the letter like a maybe you want to display uh, the numerals you know like you want to display 0 okay and then 1 2 3 like this you want to display what you do is you have to code all these values one after another like this for 0 and this is for 1 and this is for 2 like this you have to code the values and you have to store them in an array and you have to send one after another okay so i will demonstrate both the uh, you know code i will just show you how to develop the code for these two concept that means we have our hardware okay now i am going to show you software one which is going to show permanently the value are given um, you know like character and the code two in other words are a, a software two which is going to you know display the numerals one by one in a looping okay these two concept i will show to you now now you can see here there is a two software or listings are there the first one is just a simple sim, just to display simple uh, character that means a single character so uh, i am having a header file the main program and i am declaring a variable as a character please note here as I mentioned earlier, reserving or uh, declaring a character, we have to be a uh, bit of careful here because of available memory resource. Okay, so now I'm declaring as a character. That means it's going to occupy only one byte in the memory. Okay, and in that byte, I'm putting this value zero x zero eight. So how did I achieve that? As I shown earlier, if you want to display character A, okay, so this is zero x zero eight. Okay, this value I am storing in a variable. Even is not necessary to store it in a variable. Directly you can send to 
the port 1. So I am sending this value to the port 1. That means the display is connected in port 1. So you can see the display will show the alphabet as a 0, uh, sorry, as a A. Now look at software 2, okay. So in which I written a code to display the values from numerals from 0 to 9 in order, okay. So how did I achieve that? First thing is I have coded the values for 0 to 9 and I stored in an array. So for 0 you can see it's 0x40 and same way for 1 it is 7, 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like this it goes on. Okay. For example you want to verify for 4, 0x19 like this I stored it for all 10 uh, you know uh, 10 symbols and uh, there is a bracket here curly bracket and there must be a semicolon at the end okay so the screen is not capturing that now well so our main program starts here this is our main program and we have a character array declared which is having a 10 symbols i'm declaring a one more uh, variable as a character this for the looping purpose okay so this is only for looping purpose then we go into a infinite loop this is a starting of infinite loop and over here is a end of infinite loop end of infinite loop okay so what we do here in an infinite loop there is again a for loop and in that for loop what we have done is what we have done is i starts with the 0 and up to 10 we are going in terms of incrementing one by one and what we do here port 1 equals letter is a array what we have declared earlier okay so letter of i initially the i value is going to be 0 so what happens is letter 0 which is nothing but now letter 0 is nothing but this memory location so that 0x40 will be sent to port 1 then we are calling it definite amount of delay and then it goes as the end of for this statement from here it goes to value i plus plus that means i will be 1 and then this is letter of 1 this is 7 9 7 9 is nothing but for value 1 for digit 1 so that will be sent to port 1 it goes on in an infinite looping so as i shown earlier the hardware connection which we have done here is going to help us to you know uh, transfer the value from this port to the seven segment display i also just uh, shown you uh, you know refer the data sheet is a data sheet for 74 hct 573 we are going to use enable and you know re-register it's nothing but a transparent mode so whatever data is just coming from the microcontroller we just want to pause it we don't want to latch and store it so we want to just pause it okay so when i want to pass that value so i have to use the 573 in a specific mode so output enable must be low and latch enable must be high so if you look for the pin numbers yeah latch enable is pin number 11 okay so pin number 11 okay so pin number 11 is going to be high this is going to be 5 volt let us say and output enable is going to be ground is going to be zero okay this is a hardware connection you have to follow please refer to the you know data sheet it will always uh, you know uh, will give you the standard values okay so now once you are done with all of them just try to you know transfer the source uh, so compile the source code using the uh, kill compiler and then transfer the x code into your microcontroller using a programmer and then when you do the hardware wiring and you can see the results for software 1 and software 2 hope you understand how to interface a seven segment display and how to display a, a characters and also a numeral